Hello, RC fans. <laughs> Hi, Mom. So, as you can see, there's three boxes on the table, and you can't even see the label on the top one. If you've seen my Instagram, you already know what's coming. I have a friend coming over. They wanted to help me uh, unbox these, and I said, sure, no problem. So he's on his way, but I figured I'd do a quick intro by myself with Molly here. <laughs> Talk it out. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm still working with FMS slash Rock Hobby. So we can open all three of these, uh, not at the same time, one at a time, but as fast as we can. Um, the person that's coming to help me out is uh, someone you all know and love. <clears throat> um, they're going to help me go over these and hopefully ask me questions and stuff like that that you guys would want to know. So I've been just trying to decide for a couple days about how I'm going to do this. Because as a YouTuber, I want to do these one at a time, do an unboxing, then a running, do an unboxing, then a running, so like six videos out of three. But as a YouTube viewer and fan of other RC channels, I want to get this done. I want to see them all open. I want to see what they all look like. I want to see how they all function. So we're going to open all three today. Real quick reviews. And then uh, over the next few days, you'll get videos of these uh, doing running and possibly a more intense, uh, not intense, but more in-depth, I guess, uh, review. I'm already kind of excited. My voice is all... Half Hold on. Ah, nectar of the Canadians. So, yeah, <clears throat> I'm already getting pretty excited. The, uh, yeah, so that's about, <laughs> that's about all I'm going to tell you until my buddy gets here. Um, uh, I'll try to give you guys a clue about who, who he is. Um, his name rhymes with uh, Lazy Bull. There, you shouldn't get that. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we're recording. <sighs> All right, Molly, get out of here. <laughs> All right, so as I as I said, uh, I gave you. Oh, it's usually a pretty good light. That wasn't pre-planned, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I put a servo on the light just to release it. Right, that'd be crazy. Go to electrical tape. I don't know how much of that footage I'll be keeping. It's all right. Nobody knows who I am anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm sure nobody noticed that. Um, so, as I gave you the clue earlier that uh, a friend was coming over and his name rhymes with Lazy Bo. Crazy Joe, everyone! <laughs> Cheers, thanks for coming. Alright. Alright, we're going to get right to it, no need for the babble. Grab the top box, sir. Top box, here we go. Alright, you get, you get her out of there. I'll hold the flaps, you pull it out. That's what she said? That could be what she said. Ah! Oh, that looks wicked! Okay, what is it? You tell me. It's a 118 scale. Made by? Made by Easy RC. E A Z slash RC. Okay, look for good stuff on the box that it says stuff. That stuff. Read that stuff. It's uh, injection molded hard body, functional hood, scale interior features, rhino bumper kit and roof rack, high traction MT tire with 1.0 inch internal beadlock wheel. I love the beadlocks, and like most of you, they probably think of the same as I am. I didn't even know Joe could read. Settle down. <laughs> I have to heighten the camera because you're so all much, functional, you're so light much taller control okay. system. Realistic pink ring. You got her. Pinion and ring gear axle. High torque transmission with 84 to one FDL. What's FDL, Lyle? Don't know. Me either. Ah. 7.4 volt 2S LiPo battery, providing 30 minute runtime, up to 30 minute. Chassis mounted servo, tuned coil shocks, and 2.4 gig radio control system. Find the flap. Um, I found the flap right here. Oh, it's already open. Fantastic. It was probably customs. These things were in customs for a little while. FD Cruiser, man, that is cool. Isn't it? Yoda. That is cool. I don't mind adding a Yoda to the to the fleet at any time. So uh, tell me, Lyle, while we're pulling this apart, what uh, what's the difference, really? <laughs> Besides, I don't know if anyone can hear you right now. <laughs> okay, knife. Besides size, <laughs> what's the big deal about a 118 scale? Versatility. It can go. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, well, right now, uh, what's uh, what's my yard covered in right now? It's snowy. Yeah, it's snowy. So uh, you can't really run these guys in the winter very much, especially once the snow gets deep. So you're you're going to be indoors. 
And dry, uh, I have a tiny place, it's 900 square foot. So uh, even finding a little bit of room in the basement for the 124s was a little bit tough. But I'm going to make room for these guys. Yep, opening hood, that's, that's where your cool. battery and stuff go. Get rid of that little sticker. So it looks like the same setup as the Jeep, which is great because I really like that uh, ESC that they got going on. So in that's there. an all-in-one ESC? Yeah. ESC and uh, receiver in one? Yeah, um, that's a new remote to me though. And it's, it's 2.4 and it's USB charging. Not a full interior on this guy, but remember this is, it may be from the same uh, FMS Rock Hobby family, but it's under the brand name of Easy RC. Man, that is a really nice body. Dude, it is awesome. I like the size of the pumpkins too. You see that? They're not overly huge, and uh, pumpkin, skies, pumpkin, pumpkin size has affected many RCs for me in the past, as I'm sure it has for you guys as well. I'm having a difficult time getting this battery out of it. Come on. Well, this doesn't have any batteries in it, so we'll there have we to go. rectify that. None came with it? None came with it. That's okay. What size do we need? We need, we need a, a Phillips screwdriver first. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna say I've never seen that screen. on the cover of an RC controller. Well, it's security when you wipe out. Brad was telling Mud Misfit the story of my wipeout the other night, and he told it very well. <laughs> we are double A's, three of them. Brad. Excellent, there thank you, you sir. You're welcome. Here we are. That looks like the uh, yeah, 380 mAh uh, two cell. It looks like the same battery that came with the uh, Fire Horse Jeep thingy. It looks like the same tires and wheels too, which is great because I like them. Bead locks are great. Any vehicle that come with a bead lock, hey You people who send out glued tires on your RTRs, yes sir. <laughs> what that guy said. Okay, somewhere. Okay, right I put somewhere. the security screw back in just in case you get too drunk and wipe out down the stairs or stuff. It's usually in Beaver. Okay. Controller's on, says the truck is not on. It's not. Uh, try that guy. Hi, Molly. You're always happy. in. Dude, don't put it back in. No, I'm not. That's why your polarity is different on this truck. Oh, I know. Boy, that's a warm battery. Shit. Well, that's no good. Not at all. Damn it. I hope I didn't kill it. I like those ESCs. It's not the same ESC as this one. It is a different ESC. Is that now? What's that now? That looks right. Try it. Hope for the best. Yeah, nope, don't that was also wrong. What the hell? Why would they do that? That sucks. I this think that's the one. No, it's on the charger. That's weird. Why would you? <sighs> Why? Let that be a lesson, I guess. Same. Really? So the ESC is backwards? Molly, stop licking me. Get over here. Get. Yes, all I did was plug it in and it smoked here where the wire is. So the polarity's not backwards then? That's how it goes in. That's how it goes. That's right. That's the right, right way. Fuel temperature, hold that battery. Oh, turn on the controller, I ain't letting go. Ah. We got off lucky! Well, what the fuck? What did you do? I plugged in a battery, that's all. And it smoked. Double check that. Reverse. This, this is for the low C tracker. So. That's important. 
that's Check also your connection. So sure, dumbass over here didn't think about that. That's you know. How often do you think about that? You plug a battery in and go. Second time it's happened to me in like eleven years. Yeah, dude, never. The only other time it happened to me is because I put the banana plugs in backwards to a stupid two cell that had plug-in leads. I have also done that. Yeah, that'll Not, get you. But I wired the plug backwards. So okay, we'll plug this back in. Give her a little shot here. Okay, give me uh, the other battery. Okay. Back on the charger. So I don't know where these go. What are you looking to put where? Just stuffing it in That's somewhere. That's what she said. This is not as fast as an opening as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? It goes sideways. Oh. Like oh. That. oh. Okay. Hood should clip. Ooh, is that magnet? It might be magnet. It's definitely something. The other ones click. But that doesn't make any noise. Weird. Okay, really like the front bumper on that too. Check that out. All right, a little closer. That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, it's the Rhino, I think they were saying. Nice roof rack up top so you can get yourself some uh, items up there. I love the FJ. It's such a cool body. Okay, so the lighting kit. Let's see. Uh, steering trim, throttle trim, on and off. Oh, this doesn't have a button to change the light. Was there a manual? See if there's anything in there about a light kit. Or, yeah, anything cool. about the light kit. I, don't I can't see. read that fast. Or Nor can you read Chinese. I don't see any other buttons. The throttle trim and steering trim. It just tells you, uh, yeah, power on and off, throttle trim, trim, steering trim. That's it. So it does have the blinkies. So lights are all wired into the truck? Yeah, so as you go forward, okay. Lights come on with a kicker and then. Do we have rear blinker? I can't see. No rear blinker? No rear lights. That could be what smoked those, because something smoked. Oh. And then the backup lights come on when you reverse. So that has a slight, uh, slightly less functions than the Jeep, but that's pretty close to being the same unit. It feels about the same size. There's the undercarriage if you guys want to have a quick look. Doesn't look like there's many things that are going to get this guy hung up, which is really nice. It's got good clearance. Decently built truck. Yeah. It's got that same long can motor as the other one. Servo, uh, chassis mounted servo. Nice tires. I like the beadlocks. Good size too. Soft. Very scale looking. Spare tire is probably going to be one of the things I take off right away because I'm just not a spare tire guy. It looks great if somebody ever runs a comp for these kind of things. <clears throat> spare tire is required. But uh, right now when I go out, nope. Mirrors are actual mirrors. That's always a nice touch. You see some companies, Decent. some guys will come out and they'll put one out and it doesn't have the uh, the reflective part. Yeah, it's just plastic. The wipers move and there's three of them. Is there three on a real FJ? I don't know. Me either. We don't know anyone that can afford one. But check that out. All the wipers move and there's three of them. So some of you guys. Dude. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a quick little one of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Turn that off. Turn that off. Over here. Nice rig. Um, yeah. The uh, biggest difference I noticed from because uh, I'm gonna compare it to the Fire Horse, right? The biggest differences that I noticed is that uh, the control is totally different. You don't have as much drag or any drag control that I can notice. Light control functions. There's none of those on the radio that I can see a button for anywhere. And we we'll have a quick look at the manual another time. But overall, just in my hands, looking at it, nice truck. And that is a hard body. Looks uh, very close to an MTR. The a tire? Good, a Goodyear tire, yeah. They call it a Terraz? T-E-R-A-Z. Excellent. All right, next. <laughs> All right, another box. This one I uh, don't need a knife. You want to hold it open? I'll I pull do. it out. And it looks like another FJ. But this guy's from... FMS. So FMS. you know it's gonna, it's gonna be a step above. Okay, so first we do uh, some reading. let's uh, let's find the, the good parts. <laughs> Here we go. Injection molded hard body, functional hood, scale interior features, uh, multifunctional light control system, channel four for on and off functional indicators, high traction empty tire. With 1.0 inch internal beadlock wheel, realistic pinion and ring gear axle, said it right that time. <laughs> High torque transmission with 104 to 1 FDL. 
That's much I'm sure somebody will let us know what FDL stands for. Yeah, that's uh, much higher than the other one. That one was uh, 84, 80, and it, yeah. it did move fairly quickly on the bench. It doesn't. Uh, this is going to have much nicer slow curl. Water resistant electronics. Yeah, I don't take the 118s in the water. Uh, with 2.4 gig radio, high torque, oversized 55 turn brush motor, 7.4 volt. 2S LiPo battery providing 30 minutes of runtime. Uh, chassis mounted servo, aluminum frame rails, and tune coil shocks. Nice. And of course, it comes in one of those awesome cases. I love these cases. I've seen you with a few of them, and I love them. Yeah, I got a few of them now, man. I, ha I have one for so, my drone. Just in case you guys get these, and you're like, how do you open that? What I do is I take my two fingers, these two, and just almost like a snap, and just open it like that. Like as old. Away. Instructions. Instructions. Oh, another oh, wheel wrench. You feel the weight difference from this guy to that guy right away. Oh, this is much heavier, eh? Oh, yeah. This one's got a snorkel. And it's even a... <laughs> yeah, the Jeep had a snorkel. And it's even a different remote again from the, uh, from the Fire Horse. Okay, so the B... It looks like the A and B mode on the remote is what changes the plus and minuses and the channels to different things. Interminer, forget reminder. Oh, it's got a reminder after 10 minutes it'll beep at you. Nice. A quarter of page worth of LED setups, but I do not see anything that changes uh, the crawl mode, which is okay because it, uh, it seems to crawl nice right out of the box. That'd be that hundred and or whatever the... What was it? You remember, Law? 100 and... Where is it? Yeah, it's a little noisier than the Firefox. 104 to 1. Yeah, it crawls nice. And it does have the full interior, like Joe said earlier. Yeah, all the stuff is there. got the lights on now that I know how to work the controller. It doesn't look like you can change the crawl mode, but it, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Dude, it's a sweet little truck, other than I don't like how bouncy it is in the ass end. I can fix that. I'll probably be losing the rear. <laughs> we'll get rid of that, and I'll tighten up the shocks. That's what's going to happen to this guy. And uh, that's our quick review of this. Oh, underneath, um, yeah, same thing. Pump Axles look the same. Uh, cross, our chassis plate looks about the same. Not a huge amount of difference. These, If you get really serious into it, these guys might get caught on stuff. But if you're running just for fun and having a little bit of a tour around the basement, whatever, I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Uh, do the fog lights work in the front? No, there's no wires going to them at all. So they don't do anything, but they can, you probably could put something in there or add Are they lights. buckets or are they just, they look like they're buckets, eh? It does look like there's a mold back there. Yeah, yeah. Looks so it looks like, like you can put them you in. You could probably put something in there. Nice. And yeah, I, li I really like the wheel and tire combo that comes on these guys. I love the body. Yeah, FJs are nice. You love this body. Wait till the next one. I think. Is that? Yeah. That's the right way. Seems like it's hung up there. The roof will probably tell you. Yeah, because this will be for the hood, right? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. FMS. I like it. Yep. Box number three. Box number three. Here we go. This one's on open. Are you allowed to play with knives? Uh, I'm not supposed to, but. Ah, the good old furnace kicked in. Let's you know it's working. Noisy bugger. For all you HVAC guys, if any guys are installers out there, there are transport screens in the burners of uh, most furnaces out there. <clears throat> A quality installer will remove those. Uh, when the install of a furnace goes in, and it's way, way less noisy because after they get hot, they... What? Oh my, that's beauty. Yeah, yeah, that's a beauty, buddy. I know Rookie's happy about this one. So, how fast can you read? Oh, that's a lot of reading. Okay, every Chevrolet truck has its own story behind it. Pickup trucks used to be very American car culture and the symbol of American spirit. Yeah, and it's... Until it's, GM's brings a new set of naming principles. And it does say Chevrolet K10, so it is licensed. I can't wait to see the, the bow tie in the grill. For the, the C for rear wheel drive and the K for four wheel drive. 
in the new lineup of Chevrolet pickups. With the tailgate that lowers the loading height, a spacious cab, a sunken frame, FMS 118 Chevrolet K10 adheres to its revolutionary square body and perfectly replicated the K-series in terms of four-wheel drive. Metal beams, aluminum frame rails, that's nice, and reliable multi-link suspension system. Pickup, pickups RC model with hard plastic is rare and precious when most SUV dominated the area. The large cargo space and retractable tailgate make it easy to carry all kinds of 118th simulation parts such as motorcycles, kayaks, and various camping equipment. I can't read faster. As a perfect 18th duplicate, FMS Chevrolet K10 shares the same linear design with the real car as well as a curved grille on the outside of the front bumper. Elegant details in premium two-tone color scheme. The body's mirrors and front and rear bumpers worth much phrase to say. <laughs> now let's move to the camera uh, to focus on the spacious and comfortable car's interior. It's a truck by the way. From the bench seats to the center console and the steering wheel, open the hood to explore its large inside space where the motor and ESC, receiver and battery are all at a glance, making the upgrade easy. Light sets have been linked, or have linked light control functions with light control plugins including headlights, turn signals and reverse lights, new tires and wheels that match the real car, it's a truck by the way and soft all-terrain tires allow for walks on any terrain. 118th Chevrolet K10, a walking static model. A surprise gift from the FMS for you in 2021. That was like a whole paragraph. And it doesn't tell no, just get any, it open. any fancy stuff that's on it. But I'm imagining that it's pretty close. No. Okay, controllers in the box. Yeah, you get this guy this time. I like this. I'm over that. That this almost looks metal. Beautiful truck. So shiny. Same controller as last time. Oh boy. Look at that. Oh, is there batteries in there? Probably. I have another bumper. No, nope, your rear bumper. They sent me a broken bumper? Oh, it got... How the hell did that get damaged? Weird. That had to happen in the factory. Oh man. And this light is bent. Oh. That's a mirror by the way. Thanks. You're right. It is. <laughs> I'm, I, I want to bend it back but I'm afraid it's going to break. Oh. And look at those wheels. That is a nice looking RC. Total tuck. Everything. It's wicked dude. It's. It's. It's been hammered on. Um, um, the glass is all out of place at the back here. It looks, yeah, the glass has been pushed down. Something uh, with this back plate here. Yeah. Well, it's because the glass is out of place. Yeah. Oh, man. So this is. Separate thing, box and cab, too. It is a separate box and cab. Yeah, you can remove the box. Cool as hell, dude. That's slightly disappointing. What a gorgeous truck, though. Yeah! It came in Canada Post, in case anyone was, anyone was wondering. But I, I don't know how this would have happened with the box. Like, it's un... There's no damage. damage. Other side. Nothing. Nothing. Not a dent, nothing. So that... Weird. I'm just blown away. It's a gorgeous truck. Yeah, moving wipers. It is so nice, even with the issues that it presently has. <laughs> this is a fully licensed one, I take it. Yeah. Look Chevrolet. at that. Chevrolet. Wicked. You know, the loss of the bumper, I'm feeling less and less mad about as it goes on, because that's just going to get me hung up on stuff anyways. Tailgate. Look at the size of that box. That's a full 8-foot box. 
Is it, is it a full 8 inch box? Funny. In case you need to know, she's about 5 and 5 eighths. Four just eight. shy of 4. Just over 4. Oh yeah, just over 4, sorry. Yeah, like almost 4 and an eighth. Some kind of 30 second. Uh, Let's oh. ogle the damn thing. It's awesome. It's not as... I don't think it's as bouncy as the others. Jeez, that's a nice truck. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I love the square bodies. I was so heartbroken when I got rid of my... Uh, <laughs> it's my, about the same weight as the second FJ. My RC four-wheel drive. Can and get, we'll get pull this battery, uh, battery out of here. And we're going to check for some uh, clarity there. one more time. No, I don't think we'll need to. That's That was Losi's fault. Okay, my fault too, but Losi's fault. So it's still, I'm still impressed with how the other FJ uh, survived its burning. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how nice it is. It's full interior, the steering wheel there. It's this, if any truck that I'm actually going to spend time on, this one's going to get uh, some scale items and some paint. Got headlights again. Okay, it's the same remote as the FJ same, then? Same radio, yeah. Oh, weird. It's got a locking position. So when you lift the hood up, you just kind of pull it forward a little bit and it locks in there. Then you lift it back up, push it down towards the truck, and it closes nicely. Beautiful. Oh, that's wicked. It is. Okay, give me that. So <laughs> sweet, man. She's a little bit noisy. I think their track width could have been a little wider. But you can probably put wideners on it, eh? But look at the wheelbase on there. It's gorgeous. Maybe. There's probably 7 mil wideners out there. And you're right, yeah. It may need a set of wideners. Or even a set it of bigger tires. It looks really tires. narrow. Uh, let's see if I can do that light thing with this guy. I can look on the screen and... Yeah. There it nice. is. Nice. And go back to A mode. We got blinkers? We do have blinkers. It's a little hot. Front only. There. But that is awesome. Go forward a little bit. Freaking awesome, dude. It's got nice low crawl. That's a gorgeous truck. And yeah, it is so good looking. And yeah, I, I'm... I'm already okay with the bumper thing. It, it does suck that it happened. It does have a little plate on it, and it was a nice little chrome bumper, and it would have looked great on there. Let's see if we can fake it here. We could, I could probably Gorilla Glue it back on there. Yeah, or, I bet you could. Or make some kind of mount. That's a nice bumper. But yeah. Here, I'll hold it. Definitely looks, would have looked good. But it's yeah, gonna, that's a nice bumper. It's already more capable without it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but uh, I want to check something out real fast. Throw your bumper right in the box. There, now you're thinking. Okay, so on this guy, we have a 7 and 7 eighths, we'll call it wheelbase. Oh, I'll just put that guy to the side. I'm going to have to keep these boxes together now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to remember where the controller goes in each box. I know. So much going on right now. Okay, no, it's this one I want. <laughs> Wheelbase on the FJ, six and a half. Big difference. Huge difference. So on the other like, FJ, is the same? Uh, sure, let's find out. The Easy RC, which man, I swear that thing's like a half pound lighter than all the rest of them. That's a six and a half as well. Yeah. So, so these same. are pretty much the same, except this one's way lighter, and they both have three windshield wipers. That's the first thing I thought of to check. But... Uh, yeah, I, uh, all of them I like. There's a little bit of more detail on the FMS over the EZRC, but that's still a good purchase, I think, guys. I like these. Is that full interior? This one is. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't have the full interior, which helps on the weight. Doesn't have a snorkel either. But there's what we got going on today, boys. And Friggin' gorgeous. Yeah, I can't stop staring at that Chevy, because when I when I got the boxes, I knew what was in them by the part numbers, and plus it says on the end of the cardboard what's inside. 
but between this guy and this guy, I wasn't sure which one I was going to like more for just staring at it. But holy crap. The Chevy. Yeah, like that's over an inch difference in wheelbase, I think. Was it? Seven and seven eighths versus six and a half? Yeah, so just over an inch difference in wheelbase. That's huge. Freaking huge difference. But look at that Chevy. Oh, they're all gorgeous trucks. Yeah. But the Chevy is king. Man, that is a beaut. I, uh, and the wipers move as well. Yeah, rubber mirrors, chrome I'm, wheels. Those I'm wheels are. I'm myself staring. Those wheels are gorgeous. Oh, and different wheels this time. Different uh, rubber. Oh, it is different rubber too. Good catch. What do we got going on there? What does it say? It's Coopers. Uh, oh, Cooper, Cooper Discover. Cooper Discoveries. Decent. Wow. And they are beadlock. They're pretty chunky. I this mean, really, that'd be what, uh, like a scale 31 almost? It's tough to tell. I'm not good at that. But for sure, 30, maybe even 33. That's beaut, man. I can't believe this guy. You guys got to have a look at that. So I'm going to fix the glass and make sure you get all this stuff back in there. I'm going to leave it at that. I uh, not sure. Does it tell me the time? How long I've been recording on here? Like four hours. Yeah, it's been a long time. Joy to learn to read. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so that's going to be it for this one. <laughs> Man, I can't stop staring at that. That's awesome. So blown away with the detail in these. Yeah, I'm going to fix this guy up a bit, straighten all the stuff out that needs to be done. Uh, there's slight differences between the the FGAs. Like they're both beautiful to look at. The detail is really great. It's got the shiny mirrors on the EZRC guy as well. Uh, snorkel and uh, different light controls uh, will get you a little bit more with the uh, FMS over the different EZRC. Bumpers. But yeah, if you're like super budgeted and you're gonna pick your first 118th RC, I haven't tested it yet. So like we tested it, we know it works, and it took a, a wrong polarity battery beating. So that's really nice. So it's tough electronic wise, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't see that being a bad purchase for a first uh, 118th RC for sure. But if you're going for gorgeous, holy crap, that's where it's at. That's your boy right there. I can't stop staring at that. That is a gorgeous What's price tag on one of these in Canadian dollars. Lot? I haven't checked yet. Link will, link will be in the description box, of course. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, ch check out the links. Thanks to Crazy Joe for coming in today. No problem. It was a Pleasure, good time. man. Look at this. Like, I couldn't say no to that. No, that's gorgeous. And I didn't even know what I was in for. I'll bet you one dollar. No, not all of these. <laughs> I'll bet you one dollar. <laughs> Rookie gets one of these. Oh, yeah. I can see one of those. Yeah. They're close to the uh, 124 thing. No. Price-wise? No. No. I'm sure my 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 okay. bronco does. We're, we're gonna argue, we're gonna argue now, so have, have a good day. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking dope, dude. These are beauties. Yeah. Oh, that is the same tranny plate, law. Yeah, I know it's the same plate, but it's got a, uh, an additional piece. You see how it screws yeah, into yeah. the side, so it fits into the key into the middle, and then it has different links there. So you'd be but, able uh, to get an aftermarket tranny plate too, then. <clears throat> oh, probably, but. Uh, I, I prefer plastic myself just because it slides better over rocks. But uh, turn the camera back on because Joe and I were still staring at these because they are really nice RCs. And uh, check out the suspension on the rear of the Chevy. Look how laid down those shocks are. Can you see them in there good? You should be able to. It's so hard to tell on that little screen that I'm looking at. But check out the shocks. Those are, uh, that's wicked. The suspension still feels fairly stiff though in the back. It's stiffer in the back than it is in the front. Same here. Really long drive shaft in the rear, and then uh, a different mounting system because it's so much longer. It's over an inch longer than the other guys. But I was actually I was just gonna get some pictures for Instagram. But this is the my FMS Rock Hobby I got an Easy RC I guess collection lineup. Yeah. Those are most of my 118s. I still have the one more. I still have the. Uh, Panda Hobby up there, but it's not running, so if it's not running, it's not in the photo. But yeah, this is the collection so far, and I would still can't stop staring at that Chevy. It's so great that these two are licensed trucks, 
Um, this guy's not, but it's still a great unit. Like, yeah, for uh, off the top of my noggin, I don't know the price of this guy. It's going to be different for wherever you are plus shipping, right? So check that out for your own, probably on Amazon. Uh, if I can find a link, I'll put one up there. I only got a link for this guy right now, but... Uh, uh, man, either one of these two, and the fire horse is nice. The fire horse has got one edge on the other ones where it's quiet. This thing doesn't make a sound except for the gear noise and motor noise. It doesn't have an ESC squeal, where all three of these had ESC squeal, which is not the end of the world. It's just, you know, if you're looking for that little bit of an edge over one truck to another, that's going to be something. But uh, Chevy's got, it's totally different chassis, uh, full interior that's probably going to get paint, maybe tan set of seats or something like that, uh, dashboard painting. The wheels and tires are different again. I know I mentioned that already. This video is probably super long, but yeah, I oh, just yeah, I'm in love with that truck. I can't stop staring. Feel like a pervert looking at a truck. I'm probably gonna snap a thumbnail of us just staring like this. <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail of just you and I staring at the Chevy. No, they're they're a gorgeous bunch of trucks. Wicked dude. Okay, yeah, for like the fourth time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Let's go beat the shit out of them.